and see in the place to be and see hi guys and welcome at my channel on this video I'm gonna show you something special and uh, I need to tell you also that uh, I got here a PlayStation 3 Slim Edition um, this console here is really very damaged we can say um, the joypad is not working without the cable, so that means that the Bluetooth uh, or the Wi-Fi card is damaged. And when I try to install something, then I just get an error code like blah blah blah, F1, F9. And I have just googled it and I saw uh, this is a um, Wi-Fi problem. So that means when you got a PlayStation 3, if it's slim or fat, it doesn't matter. If you got one that has a broken Wi-Fi card or the Bluetooth is damaged or whatever, um, then you will not be able to install something because you will, every time uh, where you want to try to install something, uh, you will get this error code. Okay, So that means um, if you are trying to install an original firmware or a custom firmware, it doesn't matter, you will always get this problem because all firmwares tries to check your hardware from your PlayStation 3. So that means uh, also for the guys that has maybe a um, broken Blu-ray device and maybe you are uh, you don't have the drive board uh, from the device or whatever. So if you really have a damaged Blu-ray device and uh, it's not working, then you also will get this message that you are not able to install something uh, because uh, yeah, it notices that your Blu-ray device is missing. So all firmware updates, original or custom firmware, it doesn't matter, they check mostly your hardware. And when it checks that something is missing or it's broken, then it will come something like an error code, it was not possible to install this in this firmware. Um, I have now here something special for you guys and that's why I have to do this video now. Um, you can create your own custom firmware. Um, it's already You can find it already in YouTube or in Google or whatever. You can already find uh, some tutorials, uh, but some are a bit bad made, I can tell you, and that's why I try now to make it a bit better. Um, this here is uh, um, MFW, uh, we can say um, multi uh, firmware yeah, builder, we can say. So with this thing here, you can build your own firmwares, okay? So um, for first, you need this tool here, okay? I will post you the links on my description where you can get this tool here. It's a great program. And then you just need to run it here, okay? PS3 MFW, you just click it, and then it will just come, okay? So when the tool has start, the first thing what you need to do is to go here to settings. If you don't do that now, what I will do, you will always get an error and this will not work. So let's say um, this is not set it, browse, and let's set something else here like that uh, and save um, this will not work now um, now uh, to keep going on you need an original firmware but this is meant uh, for the custom firmwares um, this will solely not work for the original firmware so that's why you need here a custom firmware it's not matter if you have Rogero or Rebark or, or Arch or whatever uh, you need a custom firmware, whichever it's uh, up to you guys. And um, I got uh, now one that has work, and it was uh, the Rogero downgrader. This was the only one that has work on the PlayStation because my PlayStation had a broken Blu-ray device and a broken Wi-Fi card. And the Wi-Fi card is also the card where the Bluetooth is working. And so that means that I can't use my controller without cable because the Wi-Fi is not working okay so no internet no Wi-Fi no, blo uh, no Bluetooth and um, now let's uh, go here and uh, let's check our custom firmwares and I got here some like you can see and um, the Rogero downgrader 
like you can see here, is the only one that makes it possible to install also on damaged PlayStations, we can say, with a damaged Blu-ray device or a damaged Wi-Fi card. Um, I can tell you why. This Rogero downgrader is the only one that has no checks. So this downgrader here will not check your hardware. So that means it will just uh, yeah, keep installing and it will not check if you have a Blu-ray device or not. It will not check and that's why the Rogero downgrader will always be able to install on a custom yeah, PlayStation. Um, the next thing what you should do after the downgrader is normally the Rogero 3.55 version 3.7. And then if you got installed this one, you can keep going and install whatever you want. But this are ones in my eyes of the importance and then you can install Rogero 4.5.0 or you can go on and you can say I want Habib or I want uh, Reebok or whatever. Um, the things now, like I told, the Rogero downgrader is always working. Also on consoles where the Blu-ray device is missing and also where the Wi-Fi card or whatever is broken. The next thing is also, the next step you shall do is to install Rogero 3.55 version 3.7. And here it will fail. It, you will not be able to install because it will come an uh, error code like blah blah blah, whatever is broken. And it will not allow you to install the firmware, so you will be forced to stay with your downgrader, we can say, <laughs> on these broken consoles. Um, if you want to install this, if you want to be able to install this, you need this tool here, um, like I have shown you now, the PS3 MFV uh, Builder. And you can download this from everywhere. Um, a great guy, also uh, call it SID, has shown me this tool here, um, but um, it was very difficult to let it run because you need here a lot of configurations. So um, let's keep doing the work. Uh, we want now to do us uh, own Regero 3.55 V3.7 firmware without checks. Because the problem is this firmware here has these checks. It will check if you have a Blu-ray device and it will also check if you have um, yeah, a Wi-Fi card working or not. And if it notices that something is wrong, it will not install this firmware. Okay, so that's fucked up. Okay, guys, now let's go and uh, go to the update. And it's this one, then you need to set it. Okay, now we have our original firmware. We can say our original custom firmware. And then you need also to set the location where you want to save it. Okay, we can go here on the desktop. Then we can do a new folder and we will uh, do something like test. Okay, custom firmware test. We can do custom firmware test. All right, here you can open it and then you should here go on and write the name PS3 up dot not date PS3 up dot dot pub but normally you don't need this dot pub you can just write this PS3 up dot and it's fully enough then you go here and save it so the other problem that I have told you about the settings here is if you got this settings wrong here and maybe if you got this one here Add a custom message to the new futures installation screen, then you will also get an uh, error. I will now just for fun uh, start this, and uh, this will make us uh, own firmware, we can say, and uh, you will see uh, we will get some errors. Let's begin now, and you can see this is not working, and here we go. Now we got here fatal error! <laughs> okay, um, yeah, this shocked me the first time, uh, but it's nothing bad. You can go on and say, okay, the first thing what you should disable is this shit here, okay? Whatever you type in, this will not work. I don't know why, but it will not, okay? So add a custom message, you don't need it, okay? Just disable this shit. The other thing is also, to disable all these checks, you should click on patch pub, change version and more. You go here. Be sure that you got this one here activated. 
and then you go to configure okay here you should select this tree this will move the blu-ray drive and all the rest and the last down here will remove the bluetooth firmware so that means it will remove the wi-fi card and bluetooth firmware all these checks will be now removed so this will not check anymore hallelujah <laughs> and um, then you should go here also just to be sure you go here and select a low firmware update of console with broken blu-ray devices so here you can also configure and you can go on and click also this tool okay now the most important is that you go here on settings and then he needs the ps3 case they are all automatically set it you just need to show him where it is you just click here at data okay and okay then save it and now this program will restart we can say okay guys so he still have save all like we have done before i think Here's the original custom firmware that you should add, yeah, Vigero 3.55 V3.7, okay? And then you should also add your uh, location where you should save it. Then let's go on here, like I told, click this one here if you want to remove all these fucking checks, okay? Set the three last, okay, they are the importance. Then you can type here something like, uh, yeah, no checks. This will also be displayed on your PlayStation 3 update screen. Okay, but it's not better. You can also type here by NSC. <laughs> okay, guys, <coughs> I'm sorry I'm a bit sick. <coughs> oh, I was a bit sick and now I'm getting better. And yeah. The other thing is, as like I told here, a low firmware update of consoles with broken Blu-ray devices. Okay, this is very important for the guys that maybe has no Blu-ray uh, more or whatever. Um, you still will be able to use a custom firmware and that's the most important thing, I think. Because the rest you can do also over your USB stick and whatever. Okay guys, so I think I have shown you the most important things. You can do a lot, a lot more with this program here. Um, but all the rest is just <laughs> crazy because you can really also, yeah, you can really fuck up your console, okay? These are so much configurations here, you just will get crazy if you want to learn this all. But I bet if you take your time, you will need and you will take a lot more, uh, yeah, you need a lot more patience <laughs> and you will, uh, yeah, you will be also able to know about more than I know already. But okay, guys, now let's go on and build the custom firmware, our own custom firmware, and this should now work. Okay, now you need to wait. It will not start all, it will check, it will open the custom firmware, the original custom firmware, and like you can see, it's starting. and. Um, now you can see the things that he is doing now and uh, saving okay now we should get a, yeah a message here we go removing blu-ray device bluetooth firmware packages press ok to continue we press ok because we want this fucking checks out the here all right let's go then you get the second message Removing Blu-ray drive firmware packages. Press OK to continue. Yeah. So let's go on here. And at last it should save now our custom firmware. That we have done it by yourself. Here we go. Modified firmware boot successfully. We press OK. And then it just can close this program and here we go, custom firmware test, it should be here inside, okay? Maybe you have something like um, test2 written here. You should rename that always to PS3 and then update and not update, okay? Update.pub. And this now you can put in your USB stick and whatever and yeah, I think I have explained you the most things. I will also um, put you some links um, where you can get my own 
um, we can say self-made custom firmwares that will not check for your Blu-ray device and it will also not check for any damaged uh, Wi-Fi cards or Bluetooth devices or whatever. So here I got already all prepared. I will uh, put you these links where you can download this. Uh, that's made by me. All check it and all install it myself on my console. This works 1000% perfectly. <laughs> okay guys, I wish you the best. I hope you like this video. I just wanted to show you this guys. This is nothing for the guys who are running on the original firmware. I know, I'm sorry guys, but uh, this video must be done because a lot of people has some broken uh, devices or maybe Wi-Fi or Bluetooth devices, cards or whatever, they are broken and they cannot install something because yeah, it comes the error code, blah, 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 blah. And if you Google it, it will say uh, no blue uh, ray device found or it's damaged or the Wi-Fi card or Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth device is also damaged. So whatever guys, I hope you like this now. This is your own uh, chance to save your PlayStation and you will be able to use your broken PS3. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Like I told, give me a lot of thumbs up and uh, yeah, I wish you the best. Um, if you have not, then subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Yeah, see ya. And see in the place to be and see